guys, I'm Jake here on Jake Matthew Productions, and today we are going to be doing a nice little tutorial, uh, nothing too big, but basically, oh, we're just going to go over form design. Um, one of the big things I always notice with Visual Basic programmers is that they can understand the code, they can practice the code, and you can always get the code correct. There's, there's never a problem with learning code. But the one thing I always notice is the most simple things, such as um, just making a form design that looks good, is just so troublesome for some people. So here's an example of a form design that we have. So we have two buttons, two text boxes, um, a title ans a title label, an answer label, and a picture box. Now this looks to be just just crap, basically. Um, there, there is nothing okay with this form. Um, it, it just looks bad. It looks unprofessional, and y it's something that you would not want to turn in to a um, a good like product or a professional. Um, so let's just erase everything on this form, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this form a little bit bigger so we can fit everything. Now the first thing you want to have on your each and every form that you make is always a title. So I'm just going to change this text to title. I'm not naming anything in this, um, so I apologize for that right off the bat. Uh, we're going to go over here to our font properties, and we're going to click on... Come on, come on, come on. Sorry, I have a lot of fonts, so it takes a while for my font screen to load. Um, we're going to use the Seaglow, or whatever that thing is. I don't like this thing, but whatever, it's what you have to use. We're going to make it bold, and we're going to change the title so that the title is going to be bigger than all the other text on our form. And now, you need to format everything on your form. So there's this little option up here. After you click on an object, so let's click on our title, you go to Format, Center and Form, and here you can do it horizontally and vertically. Vertically would be in the middle, obviously, and horizontally would be in the middle side to side. So what we want to do is just bring this up and do format center form horizontally. So that way our title is always centered in our form. So um, some other options we have are, are aligns, which can align two different objects. Make same size, which will you can click two different objects and make them the same size. Um, horizontal spacing and vertical spacing is say I have three of these. So like one's really close and one's like super far away. So I want this spacing to be through all of them. So you click the first one and then control click the other two and you gotta go vertical spacing, make equal. And now all the spacing is equal between the two. So, <clears throat> Alright, so you can play around with your format stuff, but the big one you're gonna use is center in form horizontally and vertically. Um, usually it's gonna be horizontally. Um, I've used center in form horizontal for every single object in my form usually. So next we're gonna bring in a picture box because a picture box, you always want to have some type of visual reference to your user. Let's just make this form a little bit smaller. Come up here, recenter this form, recenter this picture. You always want to have a visual representation of what the user is going to be looking at or doing, basically. So, for example, if you have a form that you're making for a, say, um, department store, you want a picture of maybe their store. And maybe your title would say the title of that store. So like I think we had one that was Marcy's Department Store or something like that. Um, so you would want a picture of like a department store and then this could say Marcy's Department Store or something like that. So next we have our input. So you're always going to want a label for what you are telling them to input and a text box for what you want them to input. So we're going to put this here and we're going to say, um, do this one. Now, the reason I put the one in parentheses is because, say you want somebody to input a value that means a dollar sign, or a mon, what, what is that? A monetary value? I think it's monetary value, yeah. Um, in this one area, you would put a dollar sign there so that they know that what they're inputting is a monetary value. But this label looks really small. So what I usually do is I bump everything up just a little bit. I'm going to change this to C-Low again. 
and I'm gonna make all of my labels about an 11 and I make them bold so we can do this and now you see these lines that are coming up all over the place these lines are what helps you format your whole thing so basically these lines are using this format option but it's giving you these lines instead so you can do it during your form so this red line right here is aligning the text that could be in both the label and the text box blue lines will align edges so you can see left edge right edge bottom edge and top edge and then there will be other ones that uh, do your spacing so like these blue lines right here on the side like that that's aligning your spacing along the side but for right now we're gonna make it so that the edges of both are together and what I usually do is whatever I do for my first input I just simply control C control V that and I bring it right below it so it looks nice and then you can select all of these by either just clicking and dragging or you can click one control 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 click the other ones and then format center and form horizontally so that way it keeps them aligned but it centers them all as a whole so I'm gonna change this real quick to do this too so that you guys can get a feel and now you also want to change your text box properties so let's say we run this program and this text is coming out like this but if you notice this text was so much bigger so what we want to do is go into our text boxes click both of them since we're going to be changing them to the same thing and just go into that front property and <clears throat> duplicate the properties that you used for the labels to describe those boxes so we're going to do 11, I think it was, was it 11 bold? Yeah. We're going to do 11 bold, and then we just need to realign these so that the text is aligned, just like that. And there you go. We're doing good. So the next thing you need is an answer label. So that's just going to be the same thing. What I usually do for my answer label is I will take my title label, and I will copy it and paste it. And then simply, you can move with the arrow keys anything you want. So since this is already s <clears throat> centered, I'm basically just going to move it to where it was. So let me just scrap that. I'll control V it again. And then just move it down. And now it's right in the center. <clears throat> perfectly spaced um, how I would like it under my labels and under my input. And then we're going to make this answer or final let's make it final since I usually use final and then you want to just go up and since this text is different than this text just real quick format center and form horizontally and you're good <clears throat> the last thing you need on any form is three buttons you're always gonna want a some sort of go button which can be your calculate um, your anything I'm actually going to put this as calculate for right now to show you guys something. So we're going to do calculate. And let's say that our button are here. We want to change this font property to match um, kind of our labels. We don't want to be as big because that will just be obnoxious. So we're just going to move this up one and make it bold. And now you can see the calculate cut off the E. So we want to come up and find the auto size property of our button and change that to true and what that does is it gives it the exact size the button needs for that text and then whatever your longest text is so in this case we're gonna have a close an exit and a clear button and whatever your longest button is you wanna make all your buttons the same size because it makes everything look so much more professional to have all your buttons the same size because think about it if I change this to clear and I make it this big that looks a little funky to me and if I make this exit that looks a little weird to me too because all of these buttons are now different sizes so what good does that do the user um, to look at something that's not visually pleasing so we're going to control C this <clears throat> and I'm just going to change this back to exit real quick all right, so now we have our three buttons, and our form is good to go. Um, you can actually do 
click all three of these and let's do a, a vertical spacing make equal it'll put the final answer right between those buttons and that label and those text boxes and so this is a basic form um, basically this part is almost always gonna look the same but there are other ways to do it instead of doing it this way you could maybe drag this out and throw this kinda over here and instead of using horizontal spacing all the time you could actually do this and then you could format center and form vertically and you could do it that way uh, we could change this format center and form vertically so that way everything is nice and this way so we can actually select all of this format center and form horizontally and now everything is perfectly centered in our form here <clears throat> um, so there are different ways to do it but you want to make sure that you're consistent with everything so these fonts need to be the same um, I usually do this font and this font are the same all of your buttons need to look the same you don't want to have a ton of variety it might be cool to throw some colors and throw some weird text on stuff but in reality the most professional thing to do is keep it as uniform as you possibly can all right well that's gonna be it for today guys i hope you enjoyed and uh... got the new mic so uh... i'll be doing a lot more of these uh... i'm very excited about that <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and uh... finish up here i'll see you guys next tutorial uh... next tutorial will be more <clears throat> we'll be more programming stuff. Uh, we'll focus in on try parse, and then after that, it looks like we're gonna do some if then statements. Uh, so it's gonna get a little tricky here, but uh, let's stay focused, and we'll just keep chugging along. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.